So ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action here at the O2 Academy with five one and a half minute rounds of Pro-Am Muay Thai rules in the 84 kilogram division. So let's welcome into the white corner, fighting out of the Team JD in Hartford, it's Carl Bay. And as you said... In the black corner, he fights out of the House of Pain, Jim in Bournemouth. Please welcome Will Moore. Here come the House of Pain. I can't, yeah. as I said, help, see help. Malcolm Martin in the commentary box. Just nod his head to the music as he looks at the House of Pain that warriors is come a out. Song we've heard so many times. Yeah, it's sort of like synonymous with the House of Pain now. And you always get a smile because they come to fight, they come to enter. The Irish always come to fight. And that's and a, we've known that for years. Yeah. Yeah, kings of the ring they are. House of Pain and a Team JD. Corner to corner, JD uh, means good heart in Thai. But good heart will count for nothing. <laughs> when they get out in here, it will be the courage of the heart that will be victorious on the night. So for the first time tonight, we see the elbow pads. Oh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your fighter in the white corner. It's Cole <laughs> And facing you this evening in the black corner, let's hear it for Will Five, one and a half minute rounds of Sproa Muay Thai rules in the 84 kilogram division. Over to your referee. Yep, and for anyone watching back home, this is a full Muay Thai rules with protection on the elbow pads. You can knee to the head. There'll be one minute less on each round, so it's five two minute rounds. But Dan, the, the excitement level always goes up as well. That's what I love. Where, where, you know, when you start to go through a card and they, they start to see the pads, they know it's the full rules. The atmosphere changes. Of course. People want to see the art of eight limbs, Malcolm. And this is what they're going to see. And the, the top is off on Cole Beck and he looks in terrific shape. Best I've seen him. And Will Moore from the House of Pain will come and trade. Good well, hands as in and everything more. the night down, no wasting time, was there? They touched gloves and then Carl threw a knee in the left hand and Will just stood There's there There's been winning. no feeling out tonight, Malcolm. <laughs> Not once. Not for a second. I've got to be honest, Dan, there's been a bit of a buzz about this show since it was announced. And I think yep. that atmosphere is now translating to it here live into the fights. Because look at tonight. I mean, already Carl's just thrown the left elbow there. It's been immediate. There's been no feeling out process in any of these bouts. Boxing, K1, it doesn't matter. It's been non-stop from the start. It has. Cole Beck, very good with that knee. He likes to come forward, knee and elbow. It is his style. Look, high guard, walk forward. Um, but Will Moore, very good hands, good boxer. As he said that, that right hand set up the left Cole Beck knee, just as Dan said. Oh, good heavy hands. right hand. Yeah. This is, these are the two attributes, aren't they? Different attributes, 
different ingredients in the mix. Oh, left elbow. Oh, Dano, as you said about the different attributes, a left right with the boxing from Will, and then did you see the short elbow yep. from Carl to the well, oh, this is side, The knees and elbows will outscore the boxing, I think, over. But we'll see. It looks like he's got stoppage power in him more. Slipped that elbow, Will, but took the right hand. Yeah, I like that slip. He, he, he made him miss, made him pay there. Great opening round. Oh, it was done. I mean, um, you had everything you could want from that round. As you said, I want to pick up on a term that you used, which I think summed that up expertly. Different attributes. Yeah. But what I liked was both men knew how to use those attributes. So you look at Will and you think, if Carl's not careful, he can knock him out. Then you look at Carl and you go, if Will's not careful, those elbows are going to beat him up. They're going to open him up. What a dynamic to have going yeah. into the second round. Cole destroy your body with those knees as well. He's a big lad. When he puts his hip through those knees, they're gonna, gonna really hurt. Will Moore, good corner with a house of pain as well. Very, very experienced guys in the corner. Look, they keep him very calm, if you notice that. Keeping him very calm, don't worry. Well, You've got to avoid that elbow. Don't be scared of the elbow. They've got to be telling him, don't be scared of the elbow, you know? This is the thing, Dan. As you go up the experience, as you go up the levels, as you go up to Pro-Am now, you see everything change as well. Yeah, the definitely. The tighter technique, as you said, the corner's calm. They know what's coming. And look at Carl trying, as you said, trying to immediately get in there. But what he's got to get past is those fast hands of Will. He's fast for a big man. Yeah, he's got himself a nice hold on that clinch there. And like I say, got Andy in his corner, who's a very good fighter. And he was, oh, it's good hands over the top. And he, and he needed it, Dan, because yeah. you saw Will was going to, um, Will was going to be set up for that big knee by Carl. He saw it, and those hands come in defensively. They're superb as well, straight through the channel there. There's a really good right hook in there from Will Moore. Beck now goes, takes his back, elbows, but the spinning back elbow came. Listen to the crowd now. This is what they wanted. The intensity is picked up here. There's a good elbow from Beck inside. Some of the knees were wearing in the back as well. Showing a bit of dominance. Yeah, just getting the elbow pad. So, but as you said, that dominance coming in close there. And that little elbow short and chopping there from Carl. And Will giving ground. And Moore takes a couple of steps backwards, gets his hands going, look, uppercut, hook. He loves boxing, doesn't he? He does, and a little bit of boxing technique in terms of the footwork as well. Negated Carl's dangers there by, by moving around him, because whenever he's in a straight line in front of Carl, you feel worried for him. You do. I feel when Carl's got him like this, he's in danger. When he moves around him and throws the punches, he looks a different proposition. There was a really good knee in the end there from Beck as well. These are very close rounds, though, aren't they? They're very well competed. There's not much in those first two rounds. No, and, and I love the dynamic, Dan, because when Carl gets him in a straight line in front of him, when he pulls him in close, he chops those elbows in. He those break, knees come in instinctively. What I love is Will recognises that and tries to come off the centre line to get the boxing going. Yeah. So, and Carl tries to drag him back in, but Will was a, a split second from landing an uppercut when Carl pulled him in. He and was. by the same token, Will knew there was a huge knee coming to the chin when he threw I that punch. I think he's going to have to do more than box, though, um, Will I Moore agree here, with Malcolm. You. I, I think he needs to put the kicks or the knees on the end of those punch combinations, you know. I don't think he's going to outbox this kid. In the end, he's going to get used to the boxing and he's going to put the elbows over the top. And again, Carl straight across. I think he fancies that at the close range, as you said, with the elbows coming in, the knees coming. Superman punch there from Will. Yeah, but I good agree with well. Dan. He needs more. Let's bring the legs in. Yeah, Beck goes down to his leg. Yeah, Moore's the more competitive boxer out of the two. Goes down to the body as well. Well, it's very simple. If he's going to rely on the boxing as he is now, he's got to make sure it stays at that range. He's got to hurt him. He's got to hurt him with the boxing. He's and got he's to got stick to, him you're back. Right, it's got to be concussive, and it's got to be at range to keep him there. Because once Carl gets here, he, he's very, very dangerous. He looks sore on the nose, Beck. He's won a lot of, won a lot of shots, he has. With, and that's because of accurate hands from Will Moore. But Beck will keep coming forward, and he'll want to knee and elbow his way through this fight. 
Yeah, more spoils it there, Malcolm. So it's, it's a wonderful, that clinch. Dan, it's a wonderful dynamic. It's, as I said, with the, with the thought process of both men being so evident to us. And it, it's now, as you said, I agree, the one thing Will's got to do, if you're going to keep it at boxing range, make one of those shots concussive, really stop him or at least back him up for a longer shot because each time it gets to this range, you fancy Carl and for the scoring. Good position back there, but failed to get a good knee on the back to show dominance. Puts his hand up, that was a close round. Of nothing between them, really. Not between, not on that I round. I just wonder when the judge is thinking of, with the criteria, yes. with the reliance. It's not on an the easy one to judge well. this it's one, not. yeah. No, it's not. They're if effective I was judging punching, on a personal level, I'd, I'd like to see a bit more legs as well. It, it went to set yep. up to throw. It, um, Will has been. 70 80 percent can't reliant. box away for a Muay Thai bout right this is what I'm thinking and I, I worry for that wait, wait, if it's a close bout and you're going over across the five rounds and you look at the opponent near the corner and you look at the variety and success with certain things you tend to sway that way or I certainly would yeah Will's boxing's good let's let's be straight about this he's accurate he's got good variety but he needs a bit more and I just like to see when he gets Carl off balance that's the time that maybe he could drive a low kick into the thigh when he could teep. He's just, I, I just think, slightly over aligned on the boxing at the moment. Carl Beck has been out for a routine. good 20, 30 seconds, ready for this round. But look, the boxing from Moore is strong again. There's a knee to the back, showing dominance. And he is the more competitive in the clinch, isn't he? He is. And, but for me, what I like about this is... No complaint, they've both just gone over. These are two strong guys. These are strong men. Yeah, definitely now. You start to see some elbows from Moore. Beck will want that. That's the sort of bout he wants. Oh, the knee came to the face there. And for the yep. first time, he backs up Will. His nose is bleeding. That was the knee to the face. Yeah, that and calls totally legal as we fight under Pro-Am rules. And funny enough, then, I was just about to say that to stop this great boxing, if Carl was to work the legs and suddenly he works the inside and the outside of the These are good five. knees. These are good knees from Beck. Look, he's got his elbows on the inside of the clinch. That allows him to pull his hip out and throw those knees in. Too often you see people clinch and hugging people in tight. But gum shield shield on the as well, deck. Dan. Sudden, as you said, a sudden change in tactic and certainly for the better. Look, bloodied faces. Look at their faces. One for the photo album after. And Dan, picking up what you said earlier, it's no coincidence that immediately Carl wants to go back into that clinch. Yeah. He's, he's twigged where he's the victory is. He's twigged where the winner is coming from. It's here. Controlling his face, blinding him with the inside of his glove, elbow over the top. And what Will Moore got dragged into there was into Cole Beck's fight. And that's why he's going to take that round. Dead right there. Dan made a very good point. It was the switch, in it, and that's what I love again about, we talk about the ranges and, and, and what you've got to use in your toolbox. And suddenly, the change in the toolbox from Carl worked wonders. And Will, as you said, looked uncomfortable. He created the space for those knees. He worked the inside of the outside of the thighs with the leg. He then started to work the elbow as well. Suddenly, the blood was flowing. The, the, the nose was feeling it. The yep. knees came in. I think one more round like this, and it's a guaranteed Listen, it's win. It's been a well-matched bout. Team JD and House of Pain. And later on in the show, we have a full-tie rules, A-class bout. Team JD and House of Pain again with Alfie Pierce and Bahes Abdullah. Great so everyone watching back home, you're going to see these Ladies two gyms in the same corners, having it here on the Combat Fight Series. Oh, we've all, they've already begun at home, been given some wonderful entertainment for yeah. various reasons. Well, fifth and final round coming up, and you're watching live on Leapfrog TV. There is dots of blood in the commentary box. Keeping it real, Dan. <laughs> yeah. We never wear white shirts, do we? Look, Beck, nice high guards he walks forward, Malcolm. Well, for me, look, Will... He's, he's done very little wrong. I would just say I'd like to see, we talked about toolboxes, I'd just like to see more from his toolbox. Because I think if Carl keeps this the way you mentioned in round four and keeps it where he said, I can see that being the key, Dan. I yes. really can. He's the more comfortable clincher of the two. I know, 
I know that they'll do a lot of clinching uh, in the stable. They really will. He's got his teammate, Jamie Lee Rayner, in the corner as well. They'll be a sparring partner. Michael Clark as well. They're all like of a similar build, and they'll be a clinching will be strong there. Well, as we mentioned in round four, Carl has now targeted Will's legs to take that base, to take that snap from the punches. Those punches, as we all know, a great boxer has got great legs. That's where the punches yeah, come the, from. The knees are scoring from Beck Kiley. And Kylie. that's what Carl yeah. is doing. He's taking him out. His knees are good. Stay on it! Stay on it! Will look. just beginning to look beaten up. He is. He needs to go back to the boxing, though, because it does give Carl Beck a problem and stops him getting that close. He needs to play. With those legs tiring, he needs to plant. That's what he needs to do, plant the feet and really go for the shot. That left right was the best thing he could do. It was good punching and good boxing, but he just came up against a really strong clincher who was going to knee and elbow in Carl Beck, and I'm pretty sure he'll be taking that fight. But, Dan, that's what we said was the great thing about Muay Thai. When you look at the, the range of technique that's allowed, the range of tools in your toolbox, and we saw Carl Beck adapt as the bat went on yeah. to use those tools to maximize those tools yep will for me i look at him in that bat and if it was a k1 bat i think do you know what that guy's a danger yeah he's really strong listen he, he he doesn't look troubled i mean he's his nose looks like it's taken a paste in his face looks bruised but his whole persona is i'm, I'm fine here you know he's he's yeah. definitely a, he's definitely a fighter his boxing was good he was boxing was was strong. Good. And he, he, listen, he competed in the clinch. He didn't get thrown all over the place. He never got put on the floor in the clinch. He never got off balance too badly. He had a good, strong base. But the knees and elbows from Beck were the scorers for me here today. And for me, Dan, and as I said, that was the adaptation made to do what was necessary, we think, to win this bout. But again, another superb bout. Yeah, another we go down to the, commentators, um, to the commentator's scorecard, who counts for nothing. We go down to the judges' scorecards here. And your MC for the evening here, a combat fight series, Lee Thompson, will give us all the results. Show put together, of course, from Mr. Sean Toomey and Rory Crawford. And they've been working really hard on this promotion, Combat Fight Series. I haven't actually commentated on it before, this promotion. And they have been working really hard. They're having a real a good go at this and putting fights on that are well matched and doing it the right way. I, I agree, Dan. And I think that's been reflected in the excitement about this bout and this show. And what a wonderful card. Everybody knows it. What a card this is. Both of these fighters are absolute warriors, ladies and gentlemen. A huge round of applause. Come on. Five incredible rounds of Muay Thai. We go to the ringside judges, where our judges have reached a unanimous decision. Please put your hands together for your winner in the white corner, Carl Hey! Well, no matter what you say, Will Moore. it was five hard rounds for Carl Beck, and that was courtesy of Will Moore, who did push him all the way and never took a step backwards. No, it, again, it was a superb match, and you saw, as always, as we expected Muay Thai, the mutual respect at the end. And as I said, if that was a K1 bout, I think Will would have would have probably won. And yeah. You, you know, with the tools he has and the way he was using that range, Will would have looked great for me if that was K1, but that's what the difference was, the way that Carl and his corner team adapted, changed, and suddenly pulled in the different tools, because you were right, Will was a very tough, strong competitor. His punching was sharp and yeah. accurate. They, they were. I think he lost a bit of momentum with that boxing as the, as the show went on, but I think that was just due to pure knees and elbows, took his confidence away from that boxing. I think he knew he had to match Beck in that clinch to take the fight. Like Key you say, you can't bag. box your way for a Muay Thai fight. But it also raises something, Dan, and one thing I've noticed with a lot of camps now, with the proliferation of, um, for want of a better term, white-collar boxing as well, a lot of camps are happy to get their, their fighters out on a variety of shows of different types just for the experience. Yeah. I think that's paying off for everyone. So we talked about Andy Manzola earlier with the Predators. They'll go on MMA, they'll go K1, they'll go boxing, they'll go Thai boxing to get that extra range in, to, to see changes in their abilities. And I think there's a, the more 